Hi guys, in this video, I'll be sharing how I ordered from Amazon when we were traveling Japan. I'll talk about how I find items, track the items, as well as how I had it delivered and picked up from a convenience store. Head over to Amazon.jp Most of the items are written in Japanese characters. But searching via English text is also possible, but not always. If you can't read the text, you can change the language to English. Just go to the bottom of the page, click this button with the globe icon, choose English and save changes. Now the options are readable in English. I'm ordering an external hard drive because I took a lot of videos and I'm running low on space. So I typed 2TB HDD and got a few hits. I just chose the brand that I already know and has a decent customer review like 4 and above. I'm picking up this one right here. So I added that to cart. Now let me show you how I picked an address for delivery. Since we are roaming Japan most of the time, we can't stay to receive the package. Our hotel also doesn't have a 24-7 receptionist available. So what I did was have it delivered to a convenience store near our hotel. Seriously, why isn't this a thing worldwide? Now how to choose a convenience store. The map view should be where your hotel is because we're going to search that area. So for example, we're staying here at Stay Sakura. Great hotel by the way. Link to a room tour on the card here. Then on the search bar, type convenience store. As you can see, we've got a few options, but I'm choosing the one closest to us. So we click on that and then take note of the postal code here. Then in Amazon, you click on your addresses. I blur that out for my privacy. Then just type in your postal code. Be aware though that not all branches will accept your package, especially when it's bulky. So you have to check which branches can receive big items. Amazon will notify you about that when checking out. And just like that, we've set our convenience store address. So now I've checked out and I'm just waiting for the package to arrive. In the meantime, I don't think about it and we're just enjoying our travel time in Japan. Two meters away. You can also track your package in real time, which is amazing. I do this in the night when we come back from our trip. I copy the points and map it out in Google Maps. So I got an email from Amazon telling me that my package has been delivered. Let's go ahead and pick those up. Make sure to take a screenshot of the barcode from the email because you're going to need that for claiming. In Lawson, I just head straight to the staff like this. I'll pick up. Uh, another one. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's next day delivery, but I only ordered two times from Amazon Japan while in Japan. And for both times, I got my orders right away the next day. And that's awesome! Alright. Okay. okay.
For this batch, I ordered two items and got both of them. I know I ordered these myself, but it feels like somebody else gave these to me as a gift. I'm so happy that all the items arrived in good condition. I ordered for another package when we were in Osaka, and this time I claimed my package from Family Mart. Need to find the machine. Let's find the machine. Claiming here was a little bit different. We had to go to a kiosk machine which was all in Japanese. So we had to ask for help from the staff. Amazon. Also, the younger girl was new, I think, and she had no idea how to handle Amazon parcels. The senior staff helped us eventually. A few moments later.
I hope this video gave you confidence in purchasing and claiming your Amazon Japan parcels. Comment down below if you have any questions and I will definitely answer them. If you want to see more travel videos and tips, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video here on Hello Genol Travels. Bye!